To output your script's actual intended output, its, its results, you're going to use a command called write output, which can just be aliased as write. Now, this actually puts things into the pipeline. Uh, for example, let's put several strings into the pipeline. And now let's filter those so that only ones with a length property greater than 6 will be kept. And the only one that made it through is PowerShell. So that's kind of a big difference between write output and write host. Write output puts things in the pipeline, and you can have other commands further down the pipeline that modify them. Uh, we could use the sort command, for example, to put them in a different order. So that's kind of the advantage of using write output, is that it works the way PowerShell is intended to work. It puts things in the pipeline. So when you start writing a script or, or creating functions and things, which we're going to be getting into now, this is the way they should be producing their intended output. Now, don't use write host to produce textual things that are solely for human consumption. You wouldn't use write, write output, for example, uh, to display the steps that your uh, script is currently taking, like, you know, I'm about to connect to such and such a computer. That's not what write output is for. Write output is for the results of a script, things that you might want to consume elsewhere, maybe export to a CSV, format as a table, convert to HTML, that kind of thing.